an iron wolf. If y'all have ever seen those uh, highway road milling machines, this is similar to that, except it's on a 980 frame with a power pack at the rear and the milling head up at the front. Purpose built for chewing up rock. So what's going on here, the trucks bring in this rock that is getting cut out over there where that PC360 is. The truck's dumping it here. The dozer or maybe even the grader will come down, knock this stuff down. Probably gonna be the dozer anyway. Knock this stuff down. The iron wolf will chew it to a certain depth a few times, a few passes. Once the passes are made, uh, the 623s, they'll come over here and pick up the milled material and place it on the pad to cap it with. Kind of a neat little system and a neat little process that we have going on here. So, the people asking for a video of that machine in action, uh, this is about as close as I'll uh, get to it right now. Um, I've never seen one of these things work. I've seen the Terracon uh, or whatever they are, the, the tracked uh, milling heads down in San Antonio. I've seen those things work. That's a, that's a pretty impressive, uh, impressive machine to see work. And now I get to see this machine work. So hopefully I'll get a little bit more video of this machine in action. But for right now, this is uh, this will have to do. And all he's doing is he'll make one pass going in reverse, another pass going forward, and then I think one final pass to uh, get it to the consistency that uh, that they're requiring. As long as it chews it up to six inch minus or less, probably choose it up smaller than that, uh, that will be enough to uh, cap our pads with. And it's a slow process. Can't really go too fast with that machine because otherwise it won't mix properly and it won't chew the rock up the way it needs to be chewed up. And that gen pack at the rear is, all that is is the power supply for the milling head up front. That's all that does. I'm kinda curious if they have a reinforce the frame at the articulation area because that's a lot of weight at the rear and at the front. I'll have to get a look at it at the end of the day and uh, see what it looks like. But yeah, there she is. 980G in uh, Iron Wolf configuration.